Tommy Tech here, doing an update on my 2005 Mustang GT with the turbo, or as I call her, Mercy Gray. Been tearing the engine apart. Um, I'm pulling the heads. Main reason for doing so is I had a really bad oil leak, and it turns out it was coming from the timing cover. It had a crack at the bottom. But the reason I pull the heads is because when I pull the valve covers, there was some sludge action going on. I pr Probably because of the oil leak, I did keep it topped up. I never really let it get that low, but um, I wanted to be safe, so I pulled the head. I gotta pull this one still, and I'm gonna have to take those studs out. They got stuck, and I couldn't get them out, so I'm gonna have to get a hold of a welder and weld a nut and pull those out. Um, pistons look good on this side. I haven't really had time to look at the old heads, but I'm going to be replacing the cams to be safe because there's a little bit of wear going on on the, not so much on the cam group. Well, yeah, actually you can see a little bit of grooving right there, but it's the, the cap towers. But luckily I have my stock heads, so I'm just going to be swapping the springs over. I'm conditioning my uh, stock heads um, cleaning the ports out I'm pretty much almost done with this side or this head uh, I'm gonna get some new cams these were port the the ones that were on it were ported and they had you know uh, upgraded springs and whatever the short block is a uh, MMR 475 stroker so it's got the forged pistons and rods ARP studs bolts um so i also got a new mmr oil pump i'm gonna be replacing the oil pump the crank uh sprocket the tensioners tensioner arms that's gonna be getting refreshed i'm gonna get new lifters lash adjusters i should say rocker followers and new cams so Hopefully after all doing all this, everything will be back in action. I had a little bit of a misfire too. I don't know if it was related to that. I had some bad ignition coil connectors where they weren't locking onto the coils. So that's what's been going on here. It's gonna take me a while because there's a lot of stuff I'm gonna do. For instance, this is some of the intake charge piping. I'm gonna paint some of my parts. Uh, crank pulley i'm gonna be paint doing some paint i'm a, lot, a little bit of customization stuff going on so got a lot of work cut out i still gotta finish cleaning up those heads and getting them ready to put back together so it'll be freshened up for sure so i can't really put a timetable when i'm gonna be done and also after seeing all this this uh sludge i think i'm also going to figure out a way to put an oil cooler in here i know there's people out there say oh you don't need one the power you know the power you're pushing you ain't gonna need it. but to me it's just uh insurance for me peace of mind i'd rather have a cooler in there than not have a cooler and keep the engine alive i'm also going to pull i can't really pull the pan but i am going to drain the oil and take a look at that I have a bore scope somewhere. I'm going to stick it up there and just to kind of get a look underneath and see how dirty it is. Um, I'm really not trying to pull the the engine out if I don't have to. So I'm a, but it, I'm going to double check and look under there with the bore scope and see how it looks. Other than that, I'm just going to freshen the top end and send it. Well, when I get another update, I will make another video and let you guys know what's going on. After I complete this project, I'm going to do some more work on her. Um, eventually, I'm going to replace the rocker panels, although I'm not going to actually do that myself. I'm not really qualified or have the skills and tools to do it. And I'll be taking it to a shop. But I will be doing a little bit of a tune-up. I'm going to do a valve adjustment on her. And uh, it's got a little bit of slight tapping noise going on with the adjustable rockers. It's possible that I need to readjust them. So I'm going to do that once I get this thing back up and running. So until then.
I'll catch you guys later.